In addition to the tips that have been given to create an excellent TED Talk, there are also some things that you should avoid during your talk. These are things, kinks, that you should work out ahead of time. The first thing is talking about your talk. It's unnecessary to talk about your talk. You need to just go straight to the point to whatever topic it is that you have selected for your talk. Next, apologizing to the audience. You should be confident in the topic that you've selected and you should be confident in the discussion that you've selected regarding that topic. You've researched your information, you have credible sources, so there's no need to apologize to the audience for anything that you say in your talk. Asking questions when statements would be clearer. Because this is not a small group setting, because this is not a question and answer setting, statements are going to be more powerful than asking questions. Questions can sometimes lead your audience to believe that you're not 100% confident in the content that you're delivering. Statements are usually a better choice. Don't be too heavy on vocabulary is the next thing that you should work on. There is going to be vocabulary that is specific a lot of the times to the content that you've selected or the topic that you've selected. However, remember that your audience is not an expert on your topic, even though you may be. Choose vocabulary that is at level with the audience that you would think would be your target audience. Next, avoid repetition. Repetition can be a powerful tool when used as a literary device. However, repetition be can become redundant during your talk, so choose your words wisely. Speaking of redundancies, avoid these as well. Sometimes redundancies can be interpreted by your audience as condescending, and the last thing that you want to do is insult your audience. Reading quotes. Quotes are good to have. Quotes show us that you have done research. They show that you're not just making up a lot of what you're saying off the top of your head, but reading quotes word for word and continuing to look at a note card for your information shows that you're not necessarily confident in the topic that you've selected, and it shows that you may be unprepared for the talk. Whispering can be a problem because your audience may not hear you. Although you'll be recording your TED Talk, if this were a live situation, with or without a microphone, whispering would make the audience uh, strain to hear what it is that you're trying to say. Likewise, yelling is completely unnecessary. If you use a strong, confident voice, your audience will hear what it is that you have to say. Yelling may make you appear to look a bit arrogant. Yelling may also turn your audience off because they may feel that you're talking down to them rather than trying to deliver a message to them. Nervous pacing is something that we've all done at one point in our lives, but if you have well rehearsed your TED Talk, you'll avoid pacing. Again, you, you do have the option to sit down during your recorded TED Talk, so this may be a problem that can easily be um, alleviated, but if you choose to stand during your talk while you're recording it, try not to nervously pace back and forth across the screen. Additionally, avoid awkward stillness. This is an issue that may become a little bit more of an issue itself if you're sitting while you're recording your TED Talk. Be sure to use hand gestures and facial gestures during your talk so that you don't have an awkward stillness. Finally, Failure to admit to cons. You'll be presenting a topic that you feel confident about, that you feel strongly about, but there's always two sides to every argument, to every story, to every topic. It's important that you show your audience that you have taken the time to think about what the possible cons to your topic might be or what the possible rebuttals from others might be. By showing or conceding that there are other possibilities or other sides to the topic that you've selected, you are showing that you have thought about this, and that you've thought about why the way that you're presenting your topic is the correct way to present your topic, why the way that you feel about your topic should be listened to by your audience, and why you're a credible speaker.